And rhubarb is very much a traditional crop that you get from allotments here in the UK and it's one of the first crops that we pick in the spring once everything started growing and as you can see it's a beautiful spring day today so what we're going to do is pick this and we're going to take this back to the kitchen and use it to make some jam. First job to do back in the kitchen is to wash the rhubarb and then cut it into one centimetre lengths like that and then weigh it. Now rhubarb itself has very little pectin in it so it won't set on its own as a jam. What you need to do is add something that's going to make it to set, something that's high in pectin. Well oranges are high in pectin and oranges go well in my opinion with rhubarb to make a jam. So what you're going to do is get about three of these per kilo of rhubarb and then you're going to grate off the skin, off the rind to get the zest there and squeeze the oranges to get the juice and all that goes into your jam pan. Now as you can see in this pan we've got rhubarb but we've also got rhubarb that we froze a couple of weeks ago uh, so we're just simply adding that in as well. It was uh, rhubarb that was blanched before it went into the freezer. But we're going to add in the orange, the, the, the zest and the orange juice and then we're going to bring that up to the boil. Once it's come up to the boil, turn the heat down and let it simmer until all the rhubarb has turned into a pulp. You need one kilo of sugar for every kilo of rhubarb. You might notice the odd lump of rhubarb in here. Don't worry about it because it's nice and soft. Once it's come back up to the boil, you need to keep it boiling away until you've reached the setting point. Well, to check for the setting point, what you need to do is put a, a dollop of it onto a plate let it cool down and then once it's cooled run a spoon over it and if it forms a wrinkly skin then you know it's ready to go into jars. That's one of the nine jars that I've made and I've got some rhubarb left over so my next job is to make myself a nice Move on pie.